next speaker is Caroline Bell from Dominate Social Investment. portfolios, 
and that collective actions of many portfolios affect the system. The implication is that there is a feedback loop between both the system and the portfolio. Climate change is the ultimate systemic risk. Addressing fossil fuel is important to protect against that uncertainty, both at the portfolio level, but also at the very system level that the portfolio relies on. So we need to consider our portfolios. Climate change effects have put the future of the fossil fuel industry at risk. With increasing calls for keeping global temperature increases at less than two degrees, <coughs> commitments by over 190 nations to reduce their carbon emissions as soon as possible, the shift away from fossil fuels is underway. It cannot be considered a violation of fiduciary duty to sell the shares of companies whose assets are considered to be significantly impaired. But we should also consider the health of the system that our portfolios rely on. <coughs> One of divestment's greatest virtues is the promotion of the public debate that ensues and the resulting influence on public policy. This was particularly true in the South African divestment campaign. The debates of the divestment provoked pr particularly high profile, received wide press coverage, and ultimately resulted in global pressure upon the South African government to divest, ever, to, to reform. It's the goal, it is the role of this orderly debate that leads to change, despite entrenched interests or long-standing opposition. That's one of divestment's greatest virtues. So in this context, consider C. Wright Mill's philosophy, that as the circle of those who decide is narrowed, as the means of decisions are centralized, and as the consequence of these decisions become enormous, then the course of great events often rests upon the decisions of determinable circles. It's with this lens that we asset owners must acknowledge that we're very much a part of this determinable circle. We have the power to influence the course of these great events. And we must uphold our responsibility to protect our portfolios as well as the societal and financial systems that they rely on to 